morning, everybody. We're in Quebec, La Belle Provence. It's a beautiful place out here. It's our French province in Canada, if you're not from North America. Everyone here speaks French, except for me. But I like it, I like it here. Very nice place to be. So we're headed through Quebec. We made it past Quebec City, uh, north of Quebec City, or would that be east? East of Quebec City last night. We gotta go up and around the top of Maine, the US state, in New Brunswick, and then go all the way through New Brunswick, and then go across Confederation Bridge into Prince Edward Island today, and find a place to park, because we're unloading tomorrow. days already today will be the fourth day and the final day I believe what this is is uh, a disassembled irrigation system it's one of three loads let's go to Prince Edward Island so I've tightened all my straps checked them all check the load everything's good to go Gotta put her in gear and get out there. and get this town name correct because it's very French. Uh, we are at the Petro Pass in Saint Jean Port Joli. Saint four words. Saint John like Jean John Port Joli J O L I. Saint Jean Port Joli. It's very French. I went to Timmy's French Timmies. They got better lids in Quebec. I just noticed that now. Why do you guys get the good lids? Well, it's because you're Quebec. That's why you get good lids because you're Quebec. I get it. They got the good lids here. Nice. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I go in there and uh, people are super friendly. Super friendly people here. I, I like them. But they all speak French and I guess uh, they just assume I speak French and they just start blip, 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 blabbing away to me in French and I'm just sitting there like a deer in the headlights. Huh? No idea what you just said. I didn't say that. I was more polite. I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't speak French. Like, uh, I got this. Je ne parle pas français. If you try, if you at least try, they, they, they like that. They like if you at least try. I don't know how to say I'm sorry in French, though. I probably should. This is my own country, and I don't speak the language in this part of my country. Isn't that kind of weird? Most of Canada speaks English. The Tim Hortons uh, person behind the till here, she spoke English too. I could I could order in English, it was just fine. And everyone I talked to, they spoke English too. It's just, they'll, French is the first language, so they'll always start speaking French first and they have a little bit of broken English. So uh, a lot of people in Quebec though don't speak English. 
and most people outside of Quebec, I'd say a good majority of them, I shouldn't say most, but a good majority of them don't speak French. But we have two official languages in Canada. We have English and French. But if you ask anyone in Quebec, we have French and English. Uh, but we get along just great. I mean, Quebec is a beautiful province. That's their slogan, La Belle Provence. That means the beautiful province. And it really is. It really is a beautiful place. They take care of everything. And it's all like, it's similar to the rest of Canada and the US, but it's just different at the same time. Everything's just a little bit different. And it's not just the language. It's like the way they build things, their infrastructure, the way, the way they build roads and off ramps and stuff. It's just a little bit different. And of course, everything is in French too, all the science. So it feels like, I'm in another country, right? I'm getting like this whole experience, like I've gone to another country, but I'm still inside my own country. I don't know, I love Quebec. If I was French, I would definitely live in Quebec. Of course, I'd be all like, viva le Quebec all the day, all the day long. But I don't speak French, I didn't grow up here. I don't belong here. Which you say, that's a harsh way of putting it, but you know what I mean, that's, I, this isn't my place. But I love to come and visit. They're very protective of their culture and their language here. You know, they actually have language police in Quebec. They'll actually have police that will police your language on like business signs and stuff. The uh, French language has to be a certain font size bigger than the English language. That's a law. And the language will police, the language police will come and get you if you put the English just as big as the French or God forbid you put the English bigger than the French. You're in big trouble then. But you know what? Good for them. Good for them. I love Quebec and I want Quebec to stay Quebec so that when I come to Quebec, I still feel like I'm visiting Quebec. I just need to learn French and I can talk to people more here, but I'm happy just sort of wandering through, smiling and waving. Beautiful place. If you haven't been to Quebec, uh, this is coming from a Westerner, okay? So if you haven't come to Quebec, you should come visit Quebec. Western Canada and Quebec don't always get along. I don't don't get me wrong. I still prefer Alberta. No offense to my f friends here in Quebec. I would take Alberta over Quebec still. But I think they're both beautiful places in their own in their own way. Manitoba's sort of right in the middle, right? We we always side with Alberta. We're in Western Canada, but we have a big French population in Manitoba as well. So uh, a lot of the French they speak a little bit different dialect than here in Quebec, and Quebec speaks a different dialect than in France. But if you ask people here in Quebec, they speak the real French, not the people in France. No, Quebec speaks the real French. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's <laughs> we all get along, and that's what's that's what's important, right? That's what's important. I'm gonna get back on the road now before I upset too many of my Alberta followers talking so nicely about Quebec. Oh, he's a traitor! He's a traitor! No, no, I still love you guys, Alberta. I still love you guys. I would still move to Alberta before I'd move to Quebec. But if I spoke French, I'm just saying, if I was French, this is where I'd want to be, obviously. But since I don't speak French, man, I'll stick with Alberta. That's fine. I'm from Manitoba, so I'm like on the fence. I'm like, hey, man, we just want to please everybody, okay? We're the little guy. Everyone forgets we exist, so it doesn't really even really matter what my opinion is. So no time to waste. We have to get there. Get there tonight. Unload in the morning, I have a reload. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, calm down. You have 11 hours and 18 minutes remaining. Well, thank you, I can see that. Oh, well, oh, plug my phone in. I always like to have a fully charged phone, okay? All right, let's get going. I have a reload lined up already. Uh, in Loading in New Brunswick tomorrow afternoon. It's taking me uh, back west to Wisconsin. And from Wisconsin, I'll go home. Ah, my engine fan's kicking up all the dust. That's annoying. Make my truck all dirty. We're gonna have to stop for a reset on the way home, though. But somewhere along the way, before we get back into the U.S., I gotta reset my logs, because... I'm good to go on Canadian hours of service, but not on US. So before I go there, I gotta get at least 34 hours off. But to get a reset that's valid in Canada, I gotta stop for 36 hours. So we'll just make it 36. Chimash. As 
always a little bit of a busy corner here. One more truck and an SUV from the right, and then we'll go. Oh, no, now we got traffic coming from the left again. And from Tim's. Oh. I might just have to get aggressive here. You're going that way. Where are you going? You are going straight. Okay, very slowly and straight. No one knows what you're doing. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm sending it.
Port Charlotte town. That's the capital, I know that much. So cool. I wish Brit and Theo were here to see all this. Brit would love it here. I think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she'd love seeing this. Wait till daylight hours. Tomorrow I'll show you this place a little bit. It's all night, you can't see anything. The camera doesn't pick up everything I'm seeing. Well, it looks like any other town in Canada. All the same stores. That's how it is though, eh? Same thing in the US though. It's like every town is just a copy and paste of the other one. Same, same businesses, same layout, same streets. There's a Dairy Queen, past a McDonald's back there. Saw a Domino's Pizza, you know, Good Life Fitness. Bunch of Sobeys, Shoppers Drug Marts. There's a Royal Bank. <laughs> if I didn't know I was in Prince Edward Island right now, I would probably just assume I was in a small Manitoba town. But that's because it's dark also. I mean, during the day you can see that there's a, there's probably, there's an ocean right in front of me. The streets are getting pretty narrow here. That's pretty cool. This is going to be real cool to show you tomorrow. Getting into the older part of the city. This is Charlottetown. And I know you can't see much. I'm sorry. Best I can do right now. Just look forward to tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. Five hundred meters. Turn left on Grafton Street, Highway Two. Which way you want me to go? Highway Two says it's this way. What? No, he wants me to go straight through. Okay. This must be downtown. days of driving from Nebraska, Prince Edward Island. Here's my load. Parked in this little fancy parking spot here, waiting to get unloaded in the morning. Out of the way. Not too much room around here, so. Had to get pretty close here to get my nose out of the lane of traffic over there because I don't want someone to take off my hood in the morning. Though I think I'll be awake and out of here before trucks even start coming in. Because trucks will be coming in from there. And I'm parked here, see? 
And then over there, there's docks. So I wanted to be sure that I was out of everyone's way. This guy just got here too, he's from Winnipeg. But they spelt Winnipeg wrong on his door. <laughs> yeah, well. This will all be unloaded first thing in the morning. There's mosquitoes here, wow. Swatting mosquitoes are crazy here. So my load for tomorrow fell through, so I'm not too sure what to do after I'm empty here. My appointment's for 8 o'clock, but they get here at 7, so I'm thinking I'll be getting unloaded by 8. So they'll get here at 7, they'll tell me where they want me, and then uh, I'll head over there, I'll start taking all my straps and stuff off. By that time, dispatch will be in it off in the office. We're two hours ahead here because we're in Atlantic time zone, because then there's Eastern time zone, then Central time zone. So 8 a.m. here is only 6 a.m. over there, and they all get into the office at 7 a.m. So that's 9 a.m. here. So once I'm unloaded, I'll probably have to wait somewhere around here to find out what my next directions are, because I don't want to leave the island if I have a reload on the island. It's not likely, but I don't want to go and pay the toll to get off the island and then have to turn around and be like, oh, you actually have a reload on there. So I want to make sure that uh, they want me to go before I go. Because the office staff back at home, I call them the load, the load dogs. They take care of finding all the freight for me. They take all those headaches away from me. So, so I don't have to deal with that, which I'm very thankful for. I don't know if I could do everything completely on my own. It'd be a lot of work. A lot of respect to the guys who do that. But they take care of all those headaches for me. So we'll see what they have to say in the morning. So that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of a dark ride onto the island. Tomorrow when the sun's up and we're headed out, it's going to be a lot more scenic. I'm actually excited to see it myself. So if you're excited to see what Prince Edward Island is all about and Charlottetown, we'll have to go right through downtown again. That'll be pretty cool. I'll uh, catch it all in tomorrow's video. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss it. If you do like my videos, hitting the thumbs up button helps me a lot. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Be safe, stay safe, and drive safe.